Hello chaps, Wolfcore here, and welcome back to Fallout 4, one quest at a time. So what are we going to be doing in today's episode? Well, that's a great question, and thank you for asking. So, what we're going to be doing is the shortest fucking quest I can find, because I have a stream to be at in 45 minutes. And I wanted to record four or five episodes today, but the last two episodes were both well over an hour. So, we are going to be doing a quick episode, ideally, ideally, and, uh, yeah, that seems perfect. Clear Starlit Drive-In. That sounds like it's going to be easy, but what do I know? It's probably going to take, like, three hours. Not that that's a bad thing. And we're going to get to try out our fancy, fancy, relentless Chinese officer's sword that we are, uh, that we just pimped out at the end of the last episode. I'm not sure if I need to sleep, but we're gonna. We did it. Uh, so yeah, we put, uh, we finally upgraded this. We've now got two points into blacksmithing, so we can do some upgrades. Why are there just like a bunch of ramen? Okay. Okay. No time to get distracted this episode. I need to get this done so I can get ready for my stream because I haven't streamed in like a week because I had an interview, right? So I had to prepare for the interview. And then I got sick immediately following the interview. Thank goodness it wasn't immediately prior to the interview. Hey, what's up, guys? I guess I'm just hoofing it. And then, and then, I got the promotion. Booyah! Booyah got promoted. Feels good, man. Feels fucking good. Oh, hello, blood bug. Oh my god, is that the same blood bug from the first episode? Like, it was already missing health. <laughs> I think that was the blood bug from... That was the blood bug from the first episode, that little bitch that kept running away. Or was that the second episode? Or was that the third episode? No, that must have been the third episode. Whatever. It doesn't matter. The point is, I got fucking promoted. Which is great. But it means having to focus a lot more on learning a lot of new stuff at work for a while. Which means less time on the channel. Which is not something I'm too happy about. But... This is definitely not my first time transitioning into management, and it's still just a low-level management position, so it shouldn't be too hard to figure out, and I should be able to dedicate almost as much time in the few months to follow this video. And hell, by the time you see this video, I'll probably already be great at my new job, and back to recording as much as I was currently. So, all things are going great. I'm no longer sick, I got promoted, and, and, just talking about myself apparently, I got partner of the quarter, which is basically like employee of the month, but of the quarter, and it's uh, it's not decided by management, it's, uh, you know, the popular vote of all the partners. I work at Starbucks, for the record. And yeah, I got promoted and partner of the quarter the same week, which, I gotta say, feels pretty fucking good. Not a lot of partners can say that. So, uh, yeah, uh, finally, you know, my work life is starting to get a little less crazy, Hopefully, my finances will start to balance out a little bit, and I won't feel like I'm drowning in an endless sea of debt and fuck all this since I lost my goddamn job and started this channel. So yeah, things are coming together. It's been like a year since I started the channel now. Wow. Wow. I mean, I took off like six months in the middle, but we've been doing this a bit, chaps. We've been doing this for a bit. And it's starting to pick up steam. Like, shit, I'm streaming. I've got... A recording studio that I'm filming in right now that feels really good and streaming is so much fun I'm learning so much from each stream and actually starting to get new subscribers my last stream I got eight new subscribers that day that's huge to me right now fucking huge I mean I know that's not like a lot in the grand scheme of things but that is huge to me and it means something to me right now you know what I'm saying know what I'm saying so long story short LG life's fucking good baby um, so let's just clear this bitch out. This looks like a drive-in theater to me, so I'm pretty sure we're here. Yep, Starlet Drive-In. So let's clear this bitch out, then I'm gonna go do a stream, and if you're watching this, come hang out at the stream sometime. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It's just like hanging out with friends, you know what I'm saying? Good shit. Get him, boy. Get him, boy. Yeah. Take his head. Bouch! Bouch! More us? Yeah. Yeah, bitch. Where you at? Where you at? I hear you. Yo, 
Get him. Yeah, good dog. Who's a good boy? <laughs> that was the quest? Well, <laughs> I wanted an easy one, and we got an easy one. Doesn't get much easier than a small pack of mole rats without even a legendary among them. Hopefully there's more to do here. Maybe we'll just build this place up. For uh, ah, ah, uh, uh, no, I don't like the radiation. I'm not a ghoul. So can we? No, we cannot build here yet for some reason. Huh. So let's keep exploring. See if the answer reveals itself. Hello, who the fuck are you? Oh, Gene, you're the dude with the dog. Oh, puppy. <gasps> Gene, can I buy your dog? <clears throat> hey there. Nice dog. But he looks Thanks. Like His name's Captain Kirk. Don't you think he could use a playmate? Yes. You've got a deal. Oh, yeah. You sure? I mean, she's a great dog. Don't get me wrong. I just don't want to sell her to anyone who isn't going to take good care of her. Dude, I will give her all the stem packs and all the love. I'll take good care of her. Don't worry. You know what? I what? I don't think what? I'm just yet. Oh! Fuck you! Get your ass back here! <clears throat> I changed my mind. She's not for sale anymore. <gasps> Gene! F will you? Oh. Oh, puppy's seen some hard times. You're all scarred up on the ears and everything. Did some nasty mole rats do that to you? Oh, I wanted the dog playmate for Captain Kirk. Yeah. Now I'm sad. Fucking asshole. Just dangling this cute dog in front of me like, ooh, 250 caps. You can afford it. <laughs> nope. Nope. Ah! Oh. Okay. I thought I didn't trip. Um. I thought with our sneak being where it was, I no longer, like, tripped uh, traps like that. That's weird. Or maybe Captain Kirk did it by accident. Whatever, it's not a big deal. Sorry about your ears. Sometimes it gets loud. Um, is somebody living here? No. <laughs> no, they are not. Alright. So, nothing too riveting in here. That is blocked. Um, there's fucking cars everywhere. If we can build here, we're going to get so much steel for all this. It's like a couple hundred steel. Oh, I saw the uh, the, the nav point in there. Hey, easy Sweet. door. Alright, workbench. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, so we have neutral happiness, because nobody's actually here, except for us, and Juan Bed. So we have got all the work to do. All the work. Um, so I am going to... Shoot. I need to set up a supply line here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop off, set up a a supply line then I'm gonna come back build this place up I'll speed it up so that it's a little bit more enjoyable to watch and I'll see you chaps here in a moment hey I need a settler hang on hang on I think I have a solution to this oh shit oh it's about to go down right so I'm pretty sure pretty sure that there is like a miscellaneous structure you can build is that it maybe that uh, when hit, when used, will it bring like all the settlers together? That causes them to group up like a like a siren or something. So let me find that real quick. Um, okay, chaps, I'm pretty sure this is it. This is a siren. So let's go ahead and wire this up to the grid. That looks good. And go ahead and activate. Ooh neat. Guys? Does that do anything? Guys? Hmm. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe it wasn't that. 
That's okay though. I'm just gonna wire this over here because I like having lots of wires for some reason. Huh? And hey you. I don't think we've met. Okay, you're assigned to something already. Hang on. Oh, okay, that's just a bed. What the fuck are these people? Did they open the tree for it? Ah, there we go. Alright, un un unassigned settler. You are going to go to the red rocket. No. 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 You are going to go to the starlit drive-in. Boom. Confirm. Done. Now, we're going to go over to our pit boy. We're going to teleport back over there. And I'll see you guys there in the montage. chaps we are lay back i hope you enjoyed that little montage so this guy is going to be harvesting corn for the rest of his foreseeable future and uh, i think we're looking pretty solid here i set up 14 beds we've got 30 defense that's going to go up to 36 as soon as somebody comes here and auto assigns to these guard towers we have 16 wata utilizing that pool of water nasty nasty water in the middle there with a pump in it and we have enough food for 12 people somebody else will auto assign to that so these guys should be quite good and quite happy here for a while but i did notice something whilst doing all of this uh, there's something over here that i mean obviously there's something over here that's the old screen what was projected onto but we've got some structure -y type stuff in here so what's the dizzle? What's the dizzle? Uh, machete? Rad roach meat? Yes, please. A vodka? Vodka? Cool. Just gonna take all this stuff, whether I want it or not. Nice, we got some cleaner. Because it's just faster that way. Toy car? Cool. Just, yeah, just give me these. Just give, just give it to me. Let's go ahead and just break this stuff down. Why am I crouched? Why am I still crouched? Ooh, Luca Cola. Store. Yes. Nice. I suppose I could have left this intact, but eh, too late now. I don't give a shit. Not my I'm not living here. It's not my problem. Not my problem. I don't really care how nice it is. I'm such a good leader. Can you Eh Eh Why? Why do I always hit the fucking pit boy button? Ooh, we got a locked door. Maybe something in here? Nope. Uh, to the right? Nope. It's left. Eh. Eh. Okay. 
And yep. Got it. That's it. You got it. Economy wonder glue. Okay, just give me all this shit. Just give it all to me. Excuse me. Excuse me, Captain Kirk. Ooh, a shovel. A bell of the shovel variety. Cool. Yep. Ooh, a fusion core. That's good. Ah! <laughs> Broom. Nuka Cola Quantum. Nice. And some shotgun shells. Let's go ahead and disassemble all this crap. Yeah. Uh, uh, there we go. Ooh. A safe. Expert, too. Nope. Nope. Nailed it. Yes. Yo, no. Uh, sure. Just, just, just give it all to me. And then we can break this down for steel, right? Right? No, maybe not. Maybe not that one. So let me do that with other safes. That's weird. Ooh. What's that? 138 round. Yes, we're going to store that. It's super important. Crafting can be a little bit time consuming when you're as OCD as me. But hey, what are you going to do? Just going to do it. Just going to do it all. It's very important. You have to do it all. <laughs> all right. That's everything in here, right? We really can't break that down. Okay, whatever. Whatever. No big deal. Uh, so there was two rooms there. They've got a cooking station. Good for them. They can do with that as they see fit. And, ooh. Yeah. Store that. Oh, hello. Don't you, don't you try and trap me, you assholes. Don't you try to get me with a trap. Don't want none of your shenanigans. And anything... Ooh, this is kind of neat. Oh, this is very neat. This is actually a pretty cool location. Glad we took the time to do this. Sure. Sure. Don't want them loafing around up here. Gotta take away these chairs. And back storage key. Okay. So we don't need that because we used our lock picking. That is just fine. Just a fine. Yup. Alright, so I think we're done here. I don't think there's really anything else to do. Um, nobody else has showed up yet, but yeah, they look, look like they're in pretty solid shape. They're going to do just fine here. I can only hope. And, uh, all right. Well, I guess this is going to be a short one, guys, but that was the plan anyways. So why don't we get into third person? Let's see. Uh, where? Where? Hmm, hmm. BRB! Ah, that's more like it. A nice view to do my outro. Well, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry this wasn't too much of an action-packed episode or anything like that, but hopefully you enjoyed. And if you did, hit that like button for me. I'd certainly appreciate it. Uh, you can leave a comment if you'd just like to help the channel grow. Any old comment will do. Or you can subscribe for more of my content. But either way, I will see you chaps here next time with more Fallout 4.